So moving forward, uh, in the past video we ended with this error and we're going to uh, solve it now because our uh, goal, as you can see, uh, there's a package that came with the socialite when we installed it. It's called Gozo. In case you don't know about Gozo, it's for APIs. Um, it's actually trying to verify the PA and that's why it's showing up as this error. There are two ways to resolve it. So this is the page that shows the two ways. So um, if you come to look at the URL, github.com slash google slash google API PHP client slash issues slash 843. So if you go down um if you go down to the solution this solution b b shafa solution it works so uh, basically you have to download this set.pem file i've downloaded it and then you have to add it to your php um uh wamp i'm using wamp so if you're using zamp this is where to add it in your ssl then you go to your php.ini and then add it. This is one way to do that. Make sure that you add it. Um, uh, PHP uses to um, sometimes your server, your WAMP server, or XAMPP server, or whatever, MAM server, might be using two versions of PHP, which is seven and five. So make sure you're adding it on on both of them. All right. So if you read down, you see the first person it worked for the first person. Then if you keep going down, you see other other ways other people have solved it. You understand? So this is the very second uh, way to do it, which I just did now. It works for me, but it's more temporary. So look at it here. The last, the very last suggestion by Abdul202. Uh, he went into the vendor file folder of Laravel. This is the way I'll use now, but it's temporary. It went into the vendor file, located Gozzle, located Gozzle folder, SRC handler, and the call factory file found this place and changed this to false so that it doesn't have to verify the peer again so uh, that's how the error was solved so that's what i'll use now but the only the reason it's temporary is that if you ever have to recreate your vendor file this edit you made will be gone and the error will return again in my case i'm just making a tutorial i don't see myself ever having to go back and uh, recreate the vendor file you understand what i'm saying but in your own case if you ever have to do that if you ever do that uh the changes will be gone so it might be good for you to actually add it into your local server but the thing is if you host upload the things uh, upload these things to your server this project that we're building now if you upload it to your server you won't uh, uh, have that error as this guy angelic has suggested he said it looks like the problem occurs from a local a local location like your workstation i had the same problem however when i uploaded and ran it on my web server it works Alright, so if you if you uploaded this to your web server and run it to work, it's only local server that has issues, alright? So we're going to go and do this. We're going to look for this vendor. So when I open this, I'm basically in, um, let me just find it. So this is my folder. I look for vendor and then I'm looking for Gozzle. Find Gozzle, look for Gozzle again. And then inside Gozzle again, we'll find SRC uh, because I'm following this. Now, then inside SRC we'll find handler, inside handler we'll find call factory. So in call factory, you have to search for this, look at it, you search for this guy, call up SSL verifier, I look at it here, I've searched for it, then I find it. So if you look at the code here, you see what they were trying to do, they are trying to see if verify is false, uh, then don't verify, but if it is true, then verify, in this case, uh, we just want to change both of them to be the same thing. Whether it's false or true, we don't want it to verify. That's basically what we want to do. Uh, with false. There may be another place, to, another way to do this, like going into Laravel itself and working on the options, um, which I've not uh, had time to even check out. But this works. Once I set this to false, it works perfectly. All right. So now I've set it, set it to false. We're gonna go and uh, take another look at our, our platform. So let us look, visit the Facebook login page. Well, it's a local host uh, slash login slash Facebook. All right, if I hit enter, remember we've already logged in, so it's not going to log in us again. It's going to just give us the feedback. Of course, we're going to have to do that again. Uh, it does that. Local, local, and then uh, login slash Facebook. Wait. As you can see, it gives, gave us a feedback, and that feedback is what 
date partner because uh, the feedback we expected we requested for was a name look at here if we go back to the login controller we're saying after login uh, return the name for us but if we say it's something like um, return just the user or whatever just do what you want, have to do you understand we can do so many things like um, uh, new bar equal to dd I don't know how we want to achieve this I hope this works but um, this is just one way of um, looking at everything so we can just say return new bar but let's see how this works refresh cost no message if it gives you no message you just try it all over again just try it again and local this So as you can see, this is the full token. This is everything that comes back from Facebook. You understand? So we have nickname. There is no nickname for me. This is my account. There is Dave. There is this. This is email. My email. This is my profile picture. Uh, this is the avatar. As you can see, there is Dave. Uh, these are my full details that came back from Facebook. And there is an um, original avatar. With, this is the width of the big avatar. And this is a type of normal. So this is basically this is my profile on Facebook. This is basically the data that Facebook feeds my uh, application. And since Facebook has fed my application with this data, I can now use it to create a user uh, account or do anything I want. But the, the most important thing is that the user clicked one button and Facebook sent us everything about the user. You understand? So that's it basically. And um, in the next video, We'll continue to see how we can integrate this so that the login, the full login and the whatever else will work. All right. Thank you. See you.